Welcome to Freeway Moments. In this episode, we'll be looking at building a simple feedback form. Our form is going to collect the name, the email address and a message from the site visitor. So to start off with, we need to put some form elements on the page to collect this information. Start by typing in what I want the field to be, which is name. Press shift and return to get a soft line break. If I get insert text field, I'll get a form field on the page underneath the word name. I'll select that and make it a bit wider. And in the inspector palette, or the item output settings tab, I want to change that item name to something more meaningful. And in this case, it's going to be name. I'll copy that form element, press return and type in email address. Again, soft return. And this time I'm going to paste in the form field. I now have two form fields which have the same name which will be passed to the server. And we don't want that. I want to make sure we can differentiate the two. So I'm going to change this to email as that's going to be the email address for the user. Go back into the text box, press return, type message soft return and this time I'm going to insert text area and this is like the text field but I can also make it a bit bigger by dragging it horizontally and vertically again I want that to have a specific name message and finally I'll insert a button and when the user clicks on the button the information will be sent off to the server to be processed. You'll also need to create a couple of extra pages. One which will be displayed when the script on the server is run successfully, which will say thank you, and one which will display if something has gone wrong, and I'm going to call that one error for the moment. If we go back to the contact page, we now need to set it up so that when someone clicks on the submit button, a script runs on the server, processes the data and sends you an email. And that's fairly easy to do. We'll be using a scripting language called PHP, but don't worry, you won't get your hands dirty with any code at all. As you'll probably expect, there's an action involved. If we go to Page, Page Actions, we can apply the PHP feedback form action. And if I open the Actions palette, we'll see that we have a number of options available to us. We want to tell it where the error page is and also the success page. We also want to give it an email address and that will be the email address to which the form data will be sent when it's being processed. Finally, we need to change the extension of the page from HTML to PHP. This will tell the server what to do with the page when it comes to process it. We can't preview this page locally, it will need to be viewed through a web server running PHP. I've uploaded the page to a web server and here's our form. If I put in some information, I'm going to put in my name and I'm going to put in the email address and it's a message from my website. And I click on submit, we'll be taken to the thank you page. Now let's have a look and see what we get in our email. And here's the message which has just been sent, my name, my email address and a message. Now that was fairly painless, wasn't it? There are a few more options in the Actions palette you'll probably be interested in. If the email address isn't completed, you can choose to have the um, from address set to a specific email address yourself. There are some advanced options which are important too. The code this action produces should work with most ISPs. There's a small number which may need a little bit of extra coaxing. The action does attempt to be as compatible as possible with scripts on GoDaddy and we have a couple of options here and similarly fast hosts may need a little bit of extra help as well and again there's a checkbox there for that. You can add a spam trap, that's a hidden field in the form. Spam robots tend to auto-complete every form field they can find on a page. If that field has been completed then your spam filter will know that the form has been filled in by a robot, not by a human being. The PHP feedback form action is a really easy way to create working forms in Freeway. There are many other methods available as this subject is vast and potentially complex. 
However, this is the easiest way to get started. That's it for now, but there will be another moment along fairly soon. Goodbye.